Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a friend of mine that I've met a couple of times now is having trouble adding UV printing to their logo. And you can see it, uh, it just doesn't look good. The text of path is bad. I've already done it, but I didn't pick probably the right size of font and didn't make it bold. So if you know what font you have or you just have to play around with it, this is really pretty easy. So I've already, the logo is 103 millimeters and I changed my nudge distance to 110. And I'm gonna take the, the wording out of here. Whoop, I did want that anyway. We don't really need that wording anymore. So I'm gonna just delete it. Now we've got this and I'm gonna nudge it back. Now to make text to path work the best, you need a really a good path and a good line. So I'm gonna use the two point curve and I'm gonna go from that node to that node and then bring it down. Now, it doesn't do it perfectly, but you can, and, and for the video, I'm gonna make it a, a thicker line. Let's make it one point so you can see it. And then you can grab your shape tool and bring in your handles till that line is really on top of that blue. And by moving the handles up, you can get it in there and maybe take a little bit more time than I'm taking to get it perfectly. And if you move your handles in from the arrow, it works pretty well. Now we're gonna nudge that over. I've already typed it out. It's probably not as big a font as you were using, but you'll get the idea. I'm gonna turn this back into a hairline just cause that's what I like doing. And I'm actually gonna make it red. That's just personal preference. Then I'm gonna to go to text, fit text to path and bring it in. Don't worry about it too much in the placement right now. So now we're gonna nudge it over to our center of our logo and you get these tools right here that can raise and lower it. So when you raise it, it's also gonna skirt it around the path, but you've got this right here. You can move it back and forth and just kind of watch your walls you know, between the two, and I think we're good to go, and then just nudge it back. And if you pick your right font, now it is still a path, so we can still, you know, play with this uh, now that you can see the other lines. So we could actually probably bring it down just a hair. And you can change that because it's going in half millimeters, so you can go you know, if you want to go down 3.25 and then maybe rotate this around just one more time. And there again, you can change that because it's jumping quite a bit. Everything else looks good. Uh, I would maybe, this looks a little funny, you know, the powder coating. So I, maybe I would try that, uh, play with that. And, you know, I, I, I took her phone number out. I don't want everybody in the world uh, call it her, but you've got a red hairline around that. So I don't know if that's going to print or what, but that's how I would do it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.